everybody, welcome. We are here today at Disney Springs trying out the brand new restaurant called... Edison. The Edison. We've never been here before. Don't know what to expect. We've walked past this place at least a thousand times. I mean, at least a thousand times, but we've never actually tried it. I don't know, it's called the Edison. I have a feeling it has something to do with electricity, Thomas Edison. I don't know, 1900s? We'll find out when we get inside. So uh, I couldn't be more excited. Let's get on in there. Wow, my first impression walking in here is this place is awesome. It looks so cool. Um, it's basically decorated like 1920s electrical plant. Um, so it just feels so cool. I love this style. I don't know, it's not really steampunk, I don't think, but it's just more like what, like, I don't know, an electrical power plant might look like on the inside in the 1920s. Very awesome, I just love it so much. It's, it's one of the coolest places I've ever been to as a restaurant, like the way the decorations are, I just think it's so cool. There's all these like old timey signs, like that, even just like the max, ma maximum occupancy sign looks really cool. The elevator looks like super old and retro, like made out of steel, like rusted steel or brass. I don't know, this looks really neat. The lights look like really like soft, like yellow lighting, like maybe what the lights would have been back then instead of like really bright. Even at the very entrance, what I really liked walking in um, this giant like gear wheel that was going on a big clock type thing and then at the hostess stand what i thought was really neat uh, was they had this like press almost like um, a movable type printing press where the kids menus were sitting like they were printing the kids menus like right right then and there i don't think they were i think they were just sitting there but um it made it feel like they were kind of sitting in that space i just think it is so neat in here i love the ambiance we just sat down. Oh my gosh, this is one of the cutest restaurants I've seen at Disney or anywhere. It is so well themed. I absolutely love it. I love all the details. Um, so far, I'm I, I'm liking what I see. It looks like the 1920s-ish era, kind of prohibition. That's what it looks like to me. That's what I think of. Um, I see like in a and steampunk. It reminds me of steampunk a lot. Um, like big. Are they called cogs of a clock? Is that a word? I think that's a word. Like the gears and um, like the brass on the railings of the staircase. It's a huge staircase. It's so beautiful, but it almost looks like a big warehouse. Like this is like some sort of like old school like company or something. Maybe the light company because this is the Edison. Uh, maybe they make light bulbs here. So I don't know. It is super cute though. I am in love with it. Yeah, I really just can't get over how cool this place is. Like, look at my seat. Like, even right where I'm sitting right here, there's this, like, cool staircase right here. And then on the ground, this is a project, like, a light projection of their logo that says the Edison right there on the ground. It just looks so cool in here. It says it's industrial gothic. That's what it's called. 1920s power company or light company. It's really neat, but just where we're sitting, we're sitting in this, like, open area, almost kind of like, um, I don't know, like a... Uh, where they would be where they're gonna be performing. So there's actually a stage up there Let me turn it around and show you so where we're sitting you can see the stage right up there And uh, I, I think there's gonna be entertainment playing there um, Throughout the night, but it just even the like instruments up there on air the microphone everything looks like almost like period appropriate Just looks really cool in here. I love it. Also. I haven't gotten a shot of it on camera I'll try to get it at some point, but like the hostesses or the hosts um, they, They're wearing these like shiny dresses did you see that they're like did you see the host what are they called flapper dresses where the, like, there's like sequins on them they're like gold and black they're really cool um, oh there's there's one behind me let me see if I can get a shot of it it's super cute I love it all right so the live entertainment looks like it's about to start um, and it already looks so cute although there's much people standing in the way right now but um, look how cute this is they have like this um, I don't know what is that a bass what is that thing called uh, sorry I'm not good with instruments um, but they got piano 
And then there's a, I saw a woman over there to the left that she had like some like old timey like fur and stuff on. I can't wait to see this. Okay, so since the live entertainment just started, I came over to this like little hovel over here on the side. There's actually an outdoor patio right here that they're not using right now. I don't know why, maybe it's just because it's not as crowded tonight. But it would be kind of nice to sit out there, but it's so cool in here, I don't know. But I want to talk through the menu so you can actually hear me over in this space since it's pretty loud over where we're sitting. So let me go through the menu really quickly. So they do have a rather expansive um, drink menu with a lot of different cocktails, which makes sense. Again, this kind of feels a little bit to me like um, Enzo's Hideaway in Prohibition. Just this like style and everything, but they have like a lot of different cocktails here um, that you can choose from. These say zero proof, so I'm going to assume that these are non-alcoholic beverages for the kids or for people who maybe aren't interested in drinking. But a pretty good amount of stuff on here. Draft beers, wines, bottled, lots of different things happening. Just even the menu is cool. Look how cool this menu is. I love it. So they've got some appetizers. They have this thing called the DB Clothesline Candy Bacon. We've got a pretzel, spinach, cheese dip, Electra fries. My son has actually been here before. He said he loves their fries here. They get those as an app. Flatbread, calamari, flatbread again. Prohibition chili. Looks like it's impossible meat. Um, sounds good. Mally shrimp spring roll. Then they've got some burgers. Let's see what we got. The Edison burger. I did ask him what the signature um, sauce is here, the Edison sauce. Um, it says special sauce there. Up on the fries it says Edison special sauce. He said it's like a mayo ketchup uh, blend, kind of like a Big Mac sauce. He said it does have a little bit of a pickle flavor. Regular cheeseburger, Prohibition chili burger. Um, and that looks like they did on this side. And then they have main entrees on the other side I saw. So New York strip, ribs, roasted chicken, blackened salmon. They have this thing, tomato soup and gooey grilled cheese. I thought that was funny that they had just like random grilled cheese and tomato soup thrown on their like more bougie side of the menu. Um, high bolted chicken sandwich and a salad, short ribs. What else we got down here? Patented partners. Guessing these are add-ons, so if you want the Burbank fries, eight bucks, creamy mashed, or tricolor carrots and cauliflower. And then they have a few sweets. Let's see. Deep dish meringue pie, yum. Oh my gosh, lemon meringue pie. I am such a sucker for that. With a blueberry compote. Lights on dolce de leche cheesecake. Ultimate chocolate layer cake. Housemade gelato and sorbet. So not a huge menu, but a very delicious looking menu. I don't know what I'm gonna do. There's so many good looking things here, so I don't know. We're gonna order here in a sec, so let's see what we get. The bacon just came, and not only is it hanging slash plated very cute, um, it smells really good. It's called the uh, clothesline bacon, and it is, it's hung by a clothesline. Uh, my mom, when I was growing up, did hang our clothes by a clothesline to dry them. Um, it is uh, candy bacon with maple, black pepper, and a sweet and spicy pickles. Our uh, waiter came up and told us that, uh, warned us that the pickles are spicy, they're marinated in jalapeno. I don't know if Steve's gonna try that, but I definitely am. Well, I just got my bacon off the, off the clothesline, freshly dried. Um, it feels crispy, which I'm glad about. Sometimes you get bacon for appetizers, cut is not. I'll eat bacon anyway because I love bacon. We're almost on the 17th little small break, but we will be back with more music, of course. We're gonna end this uh, set with a little number from Mr. George Michael. It's sweet and Actually, salty. Do you guys know, have you seen I don't the taste the pepper movie? yet. Um, oh, it's, it's really good. Crispy, it's really good. but not it's like burnt. Um, it's just a really good texture for me. I I really yeah. really love it. Um, when they first sat it down, I felt it, and it was it was a lot warmer than it is now. But it, it's been sitting here for a few minutes, but it's still so good. Love it. Yeah, this bacon looks. I mean, look at this. Man, it looks good. It looks super crispy though. I don't know. My mouth is still kind of jacked up from uh, dental surgery I had, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat this very well. But we'll see how it goes. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, babe. Oh, that's good. I have some good bacon. 
It's like thick cut, very crunchy. I mean, I love this bacon. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. Not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be sweeter than this, but it's not. Man, it's got such a good smell and a good flavor. I mean, look how crispy. Uh, you can't see it. I mean, it's, look, I mean, it's it's crispy. And it's perfect. I love crispy bacon. I don't like when it's, like, super mushy. Okay, I'm going to try the spicy pickle. It's marinated in jalapeno. I'm not sure how I like it. I don't know about a spicy pickle. We'll see. <laughs> but because it's I, I do not like sweet pickles but because of the spice it's actually kind of good after a minute my first initial thing was like oh it's sweet pickle but with the spiciness it kind of works um, I might try a, a pickle on my bacon here in a minute wait so how hot was it because how many are there is there more than one left yeah okay so there's two of the pickles he said he said they're pretty spicy, he said they're marinated in jalapeno, but how spicy was it? Not too bad. I'm not gonna try it. A, I'm not, I don't love sweet pickles either, so for me, I don't really need to try it. And since it's hot, I'll leave it to you. Did you say you wanna try it on something else? I'm gonna go back to the bacon. Okay, I'm gonna try the bacon with the pickle on it. I don't know, we'll see. Because you, you can't really taste that it's a sweet pickle because the bacon's sweet. So you just kind of taste the spice and get the crunch of the pickle. I don't know, it's pretty good. came over and I just realized they're in like these like I don't know they remind me of Newsies if you've ever seen the Broadway show Newsies like they have these like little caps on and like these like suspenders and I don't know probably they look more like factory workers in a light power and light plant they just remind me of Newsies for some reason they're kind of cool too I like their costumes or outfits yep just in case you were wondering still eating bacon I can eat this all day. Our food just arrived and it looks really good and it's plated really beautiful. I got the blackened salmon. Shocker that I got salmon. Um, I feel like I get that a lot on these reviews, um, but it's just what I wanted. Um, I did get uh, a couple things on it. I didn't get the tomatoes. I was like, no on the tomatoes because I don't like those. And I didn't get the beurre blanc sauce on it. It was like a citrus beurre blanc. So I tried the beurre blanc sauce it's when they put it on the table. I am so glad. Steve was like, maybe you don't want to get that on it. I didn't because it to me tastes like mayonnaise. I don't taste any citrus. I don't taste anything. It tastes like mayonnaise, cream sauce. But I will not be putting that on my food. So I'm going to move that aside. I'm gonna try my salmon. I asked for an extra well done. I feel like it's not, uh, but it still might be fine. Could be, let me taste another part of it. The flavor of this really good. It could be warmer. If that makes sense, maybe it was sitting there um, for a few minutes. Fish um, gets cold quickly. It's not cold, but it's just not super hot. Um, but I really love the flavors and the seasoning. It's kind of spicy. Um, but yeah, I think it's really good. And it is cooked uh, well enough for me. So that's a good thing. So it's blackened. So it has some sort of spice on the outside and like a char. Um, it's pretty spicy and salty all at the same time. Um, it kind of tastes Cajun-y a little bit with salt. They said multicolored cauliflower, which it is, and um, carrots and spinach. I see like three pieces of tiny little spinach. I thought maybe it was going to be sitting on a bed of spinach, but it's not. It's like 
hardly any, but it's good. I love vegetables, so I was excited that this was what was on the side. They're, it's cooked really well. It's, it's al dente. I don't know if you can say that for vegetables, but I am. I like it slightly crunchy, but not overly crunchy and not soggy. Um, and it tastes, uh, it, it has some sort of seasoning on it. My mouth is still spicy from the fish. I can't hurt, barely put my finger on what it is. It almost tastes like it was on a grill. That's what it tastes like um, with butter. You know what I mean? That's what that, it, but it's really good. I like them a lot. So the real question is, are the vegetables harder than the vegetables at Steakhouse 71 that you got? That, what was that, broccolini or something? Yeah, go watch that episode. If, if you haven't seen our Steakhouse 71 review, it's at the Contemporary Resort, which by the way is a good restaurant. For some reason, her broccolini there, yeah, you're gonna wanna watch that episode. It's crazy. So not like that. All right, so I ordered the roasted chicken. Um, it said it comes with a fingerlings, a fingerling potatoes. I don't know why I said a uh, fingerling potatoes. It comes with fingerling potatoes. Um, and it said vegetable of the day, which he told me with the with the chicken, it's going to be green beans. And then it says it comes with a chicken jus, uh, which I don't really see like a lot of. Oh, there's a little bit of sauce underneath, which I'll I'll take a look at. Um, but it looks really good. I'm anxious to get into this thing. It looks awesome. Like it's it's grilled perfectly. It's like a whole chicken. I mean, it's it's half a chicken, I think. But man, this thing's huge. I'm gonna start out with the fingerling potatoes because um, that should be the easiest thing for me. Mmm, they're good. A little bit of that like chicken, like sauce, the jus at the bottom. Actually, really good. You see it? It's like, it's got a little, it's like kind of dripping off of it. It's got a really good flavor. Not too salty, but like a little bit of salt. I'm gonna have her try these because she's been eyeing my potatoes since they sat them down. I see you eyeing my potatoes. We're both suckers for potatoes and green beans and she's been eyeing my green beans too. Basically, she's been eyeing my whole plate. Yeah. And you know how salmon is? Salmon like disappears really fast. So her food's gonna be gone before I even start my food. Let's try the green beans. Perfect. Still got a little bit of snap to them. Let me just use my hand. Look at look how look how refined I am. Fine dining at its best. Just picking up a green bean and eating it with my hand. I don't care, whatever. Um yum, these are really good. Like nice and they got a nice snap to them still. They got a little bit of salt on them. Bosser. All right, we're gonna try the chicken here. Honestly, I don't know that there's any real like good way to get this chicken here. I don't even know, I'm gonna have to just abandon the fork. It looks like it's got a little bit of thyme on top of it. I'm guessing that's what it, that is, maybe thyme? I don't know, let's see what we got here. Oh man, look at that. that. That just really ripped right off the bone there. Oh, it looks awesome. Looks like perfectly cooked. Candy would say like she feels like it's not cooked enough, I think. She likes it like well done, but for me, I think it's about right. It's perfect. I mean, it's in the joint there, so it looks a little like, almost like it's like bloody, but it's not. Um, man, it looks good. Let's see if I can do something fancy here with this uh, this fork. Man, you see, do you, I don't know if you can hear that. Let me turn the microphone around, see if you can hear this. I can pick it up on the microphone or not, but um, it's got like this like, the skin is like nice and crispy. Honestly, there's no good way to eat this. I'm just gonna have to take a bite. Mm. Oh, it's really good. I love it. I'm trying to rip it in, rip into it with a fork. Yeah, it's really good. The chicken is like perfectly like moist, awesome. Now yeah, I'm gonna get some of this skin here. This is so good. You know, 
want to try some of this? She wants to try the potatoes, I can see her. You're going to try the potatoes and green beans. So Steve's vegetables look really good to me. I'm going to try the potatoes if I can pick one up. I do more eating, less talking. Man, this is really good. So there's a bunch of white meat right in here. You can kind of see it. So the the obviously the leg was a lot of the dark meat over here. I've been kind of mangling that to death, but right in here you can see this like really nice and like flaky white meat chicken. It's so good. I'm sorry, I know I'm using my hands to eat this chicken, but I, it's just no good way to eat it. And it's, I'm not refined, so there you go. It's so good. Love it. It's so good. Oh. They're going to sing a song from Armageddon. In like an old-timey way of doing it. Let's see what it sounds like. Heads down and eating. And I'm dancing in my seat. Maybe I can get Candy to join in. She can't. She can't get me to join in. I'll sing. You're taller than I am. Wow. <laughs> it's all an illusion. You're standing on this thing. Uh huh. You're cheating. <laughs> That's okay. This feels weird. Anyway, um, what do you think of that restaurant? Um, I thought it was really good. I want to go back. I was already asking what, about food I'm going to order for next time as I was leaving. So I definitely want to be back. Yeah. I don't know why we haven't been to that restaurant before now. Max and Fung have his girlfriend. Um, I don't think Lexi and Nick have. And neither had we. But now we have and we'll be back. It was Boston. It was straight Boston. It's and, one of my new faves again. And there's always a reservation for this. Whenever I've been looking for reservations, this is always on there. We so. almost went to Beaches and Cream again tonight. <laughs> almost. I like it. But I was like, let's try a different restaurant again. So we came to the Edison. I loved it. I thought it was awesome. It only ended up being like a hundred bucks or something. Mm -hmm. With the tip. With the tip, including the tip and the drinks and the bacon and all of our food and everything was like a hundred bucks, which I don't think is that bad. It was super cute in there, man. I just love the ambiance. Our server was great. The food was awesome. Yep. The ambiance was awesome. There was entertainment, live entertainment. Why have we not been to this restaurant before? We will definitely, definitely be to the rest restaurant again. Oh, for sure. Oh, 100%. I, I want to book one for tomorrow. So, um, man, we're just going to keep, we're going to keep making the rounds on all these restaurants. A lot of them we've never tried before. Um, we tend to stick to the ones we love the most. But we're doing this, uh, we're doing this series where we're going around trying things, the, a lot of the restaurants we've never been to, and this is one of them. We will definitely be back. Highly recommend, if you're wondering, plus Disney Springs now, I didn't get a dessert, even though they had a lemon meringue thing that I really wanted to try. I didn't get a dessert because now we're at Disney Springs. I'm going to go over to Everglades and I'm going to get a donut. Bonus or Gideon's and grab a cookie. I mean, so that's another bonus for this place being at Disney Springs. Is there shopping now we're going to go do? We're going to do a little bit of shopping. You can stop and get a cookie or maybe something at the ganachery or something like that or a donut like me at Everglades. So it's a bonus and um, there's always reservations, like you said. So anyway, let us know what you think of the Edison. Have you been here? Do you like it? Do you want to try it now? Let us know. Uh, until we see you next time, thanks for joining us. The Noble Way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.